There was a, an exam you found difficult to pass. Huh? Huh? Yes. yes. He has, he has done jump twice, but he is not able to pass a uh, post TME. In fact, he's made that in 300 levels. Now, that is why I brought him here, man of God. You know, I looked at him, I saw him crying with an unanswered question paper. It's true. Unanswered question paper. It's true, man of God. And this has made him to start asking you many questions. True, true. He, he's been asking a lot of questions. He's been growing angry, very quiet and angry at the same time. This is happening to me. Even some of the people you thought would be better than you. Yes, sir. And some of them are in their second year, third year. Yeah. His younger brother is in third year now in the university. about God, when God speaks to you and you admit God will perfect his work. Amen. I want to assure you you will go back and write to this day down. You will come back with a testimony. Amen. Please go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Head, you think I'm pressing the head? You say, Ah, I will not touch the head. This, you will feel the same thing. is reset for success. Congratulations, my brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give him time because the Bible says, listen, not, not because you heard that the brain is reset. I said, you don't want, you don't allow him to read. <laughs> I expect him to pass. No. The brain is reset to avoid blackout. The major problem is when he entered the exam, you don't remember anything until the end of the question. Problem has affected his side too. I say when he entered the exam hall, you don't remember anything. Until mm -hmm. they say press is up. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. But well, now the brain is reset to remember what he has read. Amen. That's God for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, read as if everything depends on you. And pray as if everything depends on who? God. That's when success comes. Amen. Thank you. Clap for Jesus Christ. That was exactly how it all happened. I think the family is here. Wow. The whole family. 
This is to let you know that God reveals to redeem. When you saw me praying for him, I touched the head, the head was vibrating. God said to me, ah, people are looking at you. They will say you are pressing the boy's head. <laughs> you remove your hand, keep your hand far from the head. I will still do the same thing. I kept the hands apart from the head. You saw the head vibrating. What was happening there was that there is a cloth covering the brain. You know, then that was when even me, I was in the sun here. Sun was hitting my own brain too. Everything was just quick, 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 quick. Now we at least there is canopy. If you see, we are inside the heavy sun there. Everything big starts small. You will soon smile. <laughs> what you are seeing now, <laughs> even my color is just coming back. I became very dark. Yet God said to me, Don't leave this place. Do your work under this sun. Time is coming when shelter will come. This is the second stage. The last stage is to come. <laughs> so when, when I was praying, and the prayer line, God showed me, ah, normally the brain should be white, but it's dark. What happened? God began to reveal to me. You know, by grace, we have the grace to ask God who you are. If I stand before you now, I can ask God, who are you? And God will bring you past appearance. We call it past appearance to heart. God will bring your divine nature by your side. And the real placard, the one you carry before physical one they give you when you go for prayer and registration is just physical. There's another one you cannot see yourself. But the, the, the man of God, by grace, can ask God to bring your divine nature beside you. You carry the placard. This man fornicated two years ago. That brought about challenges in his life. He met with a possessed lady. This is the time he met with the lady. This is the problem he's facing. This is what you need to do to free him. But before then, if you don't talk, I can't please you. Can I speak to you? Blah, blah, blah. If you say no, I will not do anything. And once you speak in line with that prophecy, which I know is nothing but the truth, God reveals to redeem. Then, solution will come. But whether you like it or not, whether you deny it or not, because of your friend is here, some of you, this is what you have done. No, it's not like that. It's, it's, because your friend is here, your girlfriend is here. When trouble comes, your girlfriend will not help you. That will still happen. Just write it down. Except God has not spoken. You heard it. God said he will come back for another testimony. Now the brain is reset for success. And God said, I should let them know. Because many people, they say, congratulations, you are blessed. You will not play your part. That's why God said, I should let him know. You have to read. Before now, you read, you will not remember. That blackout, that thing covering your brain. When you enter the exam hall, it works when you enter the exam hall. He will read, 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 read. Maybe he enter the exam hall, he will have blackouts. That will envelop the brain. He will not remember anything until the investigator says, pass is up. He will begin to write, but it is too late. But what did God do? God removed that veil of attack from him, destroy where the attack is coming from, free the brain. So all he read were there. That's why he entered his exam hall and came today for testimony. And God said, he will come back for what? Testimony. Let's hear from them. Elohim. Praise God. I came today to confirm, my, my name is H. Joshua, I'm sorry. And the people standing next to me are my family. This is my father, and this is my mother, and there's my younger sister. I've come today to confirm the testimony of the servant of God, wise man Daniel, to be true of my life. The, the problem that brought me- You mean you are here to confirm the prophecy of God? Not wise man, Daniel. Yes. I can't give prophecy. It is what God gives to my heart, I give to you. So what God said, the prophecy of God through wise man, Daniel. I came to confirm the prophecy of God to be true in my life today. I, the problem that brought me today to church is the problem of my admission. I've been having, uh, for years now, I've been having difficulty getting admission and it has been a big problem for me. When any exam, any of you tell me, the entrance exam I take, that I, I think during the exam, towards the end of the exam, I black out. I failed to, everything I've read towards that point, I couldn't get it back at that moment until close, very close to the end of the exam. That's when I start to recall all I've read. And it, I, I failed a couple of times. For two times now, I've written entrance exam. It has been a very big problem for me. It has been affecting me mentally. Every time I come back home, I 
I remain silent. I, I do myself. And I very feel bad for everything that I went through. And I've, I've, had been, I've been having it difficult to talk to people. Stepping out was a big problem for me. I couldn't relate with others because I was worried that the question would come up. They would ask me if I'm in school, if I've gotten admission. I, I wouldn't have an answer to that question. Like right now, like the man of God said, my younger brother is in school and he's in right now he's going to finish he'll soon finish from there and i to have as the senior older brother i haven't started so it has been a really big issue for me can you imagine it's got to a stage now it's causing depression so he started isolating himself staying indoor before you know he thought of suicide will come go and kill yourself you can't make it it's this problem is affecting many students that's why if you see some people at home don't blame them not that they're not intelligent, but it's an attack, depriving them from excelling like other students. You'll be surprised to see that some students you see at home, they have taught people that have graduated. They have taught them. They too will be surprised. This person taught me in secondary school. How come he, he cannot succeed? He cannot make the exam. I'm surprised. Ah, this brother is very intelligent. He's very intelligent. What's happening to him? They can't help him because he's spiritual. He will read and read and read and read and read and when it's time for exam. Blackout, the brain will be locked. And that demon will be waiting until the invigilator says, pencils up, submit your paper. The brain will be open. <laughs> then it's only a minute or two minutes. You cannot write anything. Very intelligent, but attack can deprive you from going forward. That was the case of this brother. You heard what he said? The younger brother is a graduate now. The younger brother is a graduate. But I want to assure you, Every disappointment in the presence of God is a huge blessing. Amen. The fact that you are going in now does not mean your destiny is destroyed. You will still achieve what God has for you. Amen. Go ahead. So, the, uh, like two years ago, my, there's a relative of mine. She stays in Elorin in Quara States. She raised up, she brought an offer to us. There's this program they have in school every year is the program lasts for nine months and i said yes let me go for this program it can is a jpeb program you, if you are a direct entry student there you can get direct admission into 200 level in the school so you start from 200 level so i went for the program i did nine months there the nine months there went well on coming towards the final exam for that program I, the same problem I had during my entrance exam into 100 level in different schools, I had that same problem during that final exam, and it was it's end me low points. The highest number of points you can get is as at least 15 points to get admission into 100 level, and they didn't give most direct entry students admission, so I had to go back again to write another jam and write another. And go for another entrance exam, and when I went for the entrance exam, I did quite well. I went there. I I, I met my relatives who staying in the school. She housed me there for a couple of weeks. I went to the school, to the exam center to write the exam. Then on coming out of the exam, I felt that I had this bleak feeling, like I blacked out for, like it told me that, it was telling me that I was I blacked out for a moment, but when I came out of the exam hall, I didn't feel it at all. I felt as if I, I've answered all the questions correctly. There wasn't any, it's like there was no issue at all. I, don't know, it, I felt as if I had no problems in the exam, but when it, come, when it came to the results, the results were acceptable, but they were low for a student who they would choose. Because some schools, they tend to select good students that they want to give admission so my admission, I committed it to God. I said, I told my parents about it, and they were okay, with, were okay with it. That was the only time I was able to warm up to my parents quite well. So I, I, that was the, before I brought the issue to a man of God. I, brought, I came to Elohim with the issue of it was my difficulty getting admission. And so I... I give all the glory to God that I was able to make it here on that day because there were a lot of challenges rising up towards our coming here. There was 
you will lot of problems. Yes. Okay, can you explain to us what happened that very day at the prayer line? What happened? What happened? Because people were watching. The way God, God Almighty was attending to you. What were you, what were you feeling in you? I knew what happened. I knew what came out of you. But can you explain what? How were you feeling then? Because you could see that you were shaking and you, you yes. as if you were going through pain. What was happening? Explain. So on getting to the prayer line, I I knew I was in the presence of God. I was having this shaky feeling. My hands were shaking, my feet were trembling, and on getting to the man of God, when he laid his hand on me, it felt my, I was feeling hot, I was feeling hot. When he laid his hand on me, my head started shaking. That feeling, I, I, I then, it felt like there was this cloth covering me, it was covering my head. It seemed that like I was squeezing my brain, like I had a head, like my head was in pain, I was in serious pain at that very moment. So, before, before, that time, how were you feeling? Each time you are moving, how do you feel in your head? Then after the prayer, how do you feel instantly? I know I'm asking him this question. Uh-huh. I was feeling very cold. Any, any, um, any, every moment I come, I, my time, I was feeling cold all the time. How were you feeling in your brain? I, I would, like I was like something was squeezing my brain. Glad for Jesus Christ. <laughs> then the moment you are attended to at the prayer, like after the prayer. When the spirit of, the spirit of God said you are free, how do you feel instantly? It felt like like the, like something was loosening from my brain. Like Love for Jesus brain. Christ. Why am I asking this question? You know, at our level, God may not allow you to see many things. Can you get me a paper? Let me show you what how, what happened. <laughs> no, bring this bottle of water. Mm-hmm. You see this? Let's assume this is brain. Come and hold it. Just hold it. Let's assume this is brain. <laughs> Take your hand. Here. Can you tie that hanky on top of this? That's the brain. See how they tie the brain. That's the black cloth. See? Tell me, how, how is it? This is a black cloth. That's the brain, covering the brain. How do you expect this person to succeed? It's not possible. He will read and read and read. Nothing will enter there because this black cloth will prevent it. What happened that day? As I was praying for him, God was losing it. He said, It's it as if something was losing, loosed off his head. As the clothes was loosening, he was feeling that light, you know, that light nature. As if the brain is very, as if very light, as if he was twice himself. And after the clothes was removed, you lose the clothes. You see, this is how God removed, then the brain is free. It means whatever he reads or read would stay because nothing is taking it out. He felt very light and comfortable at this point. Many brains are tied down this way, but they are jumping up and down. Have your sister. That's why I need to ask him to explain. Because if I start explaining to you, you, you may not understand. He that experiences it knows it best. So since that time, tell us the changes you have seen after that prayer. So after, after, when that loosening, that grip that I felt on my head, when it started to, started to loosen up, I, the heat I was feeling in my head, I started to feel cool again. I... I got myself back again. I, I began to re- regain everything, all the knowledge, everything I read for the past two years towards every exam I've, I've wanted to write. I begin to, re- began to regain it back. Well, for Jesus every- Christ. You heard what he said? What he had read two years ago, he could not remember. The memory became active. Can you see how this mighty God works? You will read for someone else. Now he's reading for himself and for his success. He will read, help other people, they will succeed. But when he gets to the same exam hall, the same question, he will not remember anything until towards the end of the exam. But now the brain opened, whatever he read was entering. Hey, let's hear from you. Huh? Go ahead. And according to prophecy, he said that this has greatly affected my sight. For, for two years, for very long ago, my sight was clear. I had no problem seeing. Then I went, but then my, after the healing, I started to regain my sight. My, this, I was short-sighted, but I, started, I began to see from long distances after the deliverance from mm. the man of God. So I want, I want to give glory to God for my time here. 
I want to remind those who are out there who are going through the same problem I'm facing now that I faced before I received my deliverance that you should remain steadfast in God, that God will provide a solution to every problem you are facing. Just continue to remain grateful to Him and remain consistent in Him. Don't step out of His presence ever. Do not step out of His presence and He will make you great again. Yes, you have not uh, you have told us the challenges you had, how God set you free from the challenges. What is the present testimony? What what has God done in your life that made you to stand here? I want to hear you. Uh -huh. Now, after the deliverance, a few months later, the school gave me an admission. I was given professional admission. <laughs> but they couldn't give me the course I wanted to study, so they gave me I was given admission, I would study geography and environmental management. Ah. So I want to give God all the glory. Can you see we human beings? This is we human beings. Oliver Twist. Human wants, the economy says, is insatiable. So you to appreciate this one. Believe it that God will do more. Say, what I was looking for is no. <laughs> You've forgotten that when there was black out there, even if they give you Zuzuzu, you will read it. <laughs> it's true now. Ah, you are looking for this, and even at the stage you were, if they give you Zuzuzu, if they say, cause, cause Zuzuzu, you will go for it, just to escape from mockery and reproach at home. I remember those days. Some people, they will say, ah, even if it's botany, or uh, uh, farming, let me go and read it. This to highlight is too much. Staying at home is too much. My friends are mocking me. God give you. It's supposed to appreciate it. That is we human beings for you. Human wants are what? Insatiable. I hope you're happy now. Yes, I'm very happy. Uh -huh. I'm very grateful to God for and See, every exam he went to before now, zero. Not that he's not intelligent. But this one, he passed. But he wants, maybe he wants to read medicine. <laughs> <laughs> he will not get the message. He doesn't know that God, God knows a way of working things out. For information, those who read those courses you want to read, many that have no hand of God in their lives are on the street today. The best, the best students today, if you, if you go to the street, you see them doing things, pretty, pretty things you'll be expecting. Ah, why come first class degree holder? Why? So let you know that uh, all that glitters are not gold. Without God, it's impossible. And those who are managing billions today, what you, what you think they read is not, it's not what's giving them money. They read this, but God is giving them that way out. Who knows? You now, maybe you'll be the president of Nigeria tomorrow. You don't know. And you are fighting for what may not be yours by divine providence. You may aspire to become a medical doctor, whereas God wants you to be a businessman. You read that medicine, at the end of the day, you find yourself doing business. Your destiny is your destiny. What are we talking about? It's not how far, but how well in the presence of God. So give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Can you come to the notice board and tell us what we have there? If you look over here, this is my result for the previous jump examination I wrote. And this is the admission letter presented to me from the school from the JAM um, Admission Matriculation Board. The name of the school is the University of Ilorin, located in Ilorin, Kwara State. And I've been. To go and study what? To go and study geography and environmental management. Love for Jesus Christ. Yes, love for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Because where this depression would have taken him to? His parents will not be able to bear it. It doesn't have anything to do with him because it has already captured him. But it will bring a big shame and reproach to the family. But now, he's good to go. Just like our mother said here, he's good to go. My brother, you're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. But remember, God is the way, the truth, and the life. Don't deviate. God gave you this success by faith. 
Stay in faith to maintain the success. Don't deviate. There are lots of distractions in the university today. Many people, instead of going through university, university is going through them. They will carry the class on their head, carry even lecturers again. They call it carry over. This one's not carry over, it's carry building. <laughs> Only God can see us through. So therefore, go there, represent your parents. How do I mean? Remember the discipline at home. Represent your mother. How do I mean? Remember the discipline at home. Don't mortgage your career for a peanut. There is time for everything. Time to pay the price, time to enjoy. If you enjoy now and if you to pay the price, you still come back. You know what it takes you to come back. So please watch and pray while you are in the university. Thank you. So let's hear from your dad. I believe he has one or two things to say. Elohim. 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 My name is Echu Oyidi Drisu. Uh, right beside me here is my wife. The young man that just gave a testimony is my son. And the little child here is my daughter. Actually, I want to thank God for this uh, wonderful moment. And I want to equally thank the man of God over this beautiful assembly, wise man Daniel. Um, a while ago, this young man, that was 2019 precisely, he finished uh, his uh, secondary school and he was supposed to go straight to the university. He did post, I mean, jumped, he passed, but post UTME, he could not pass. We felt that year was not this year, but maybe the following year he will make it. The thing repeated itself years after years. And early this year, he became agitated in the house, he became depressed, nobody could talk to him. He was all on his own. And the thing started bothering me. At the point I felt, hope this young man will not attack us in the house. <laughs> and, uh, it, it was that serious. And, uh, that, that is it, I'm not in the house, but sometimes come and eat. And he will not look at you with, with one particular eye, 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 facial appearance. The father will say, ah, this is not the son I gave birth to. He is undergoing serious depression. To get to a stage, he will begin to hear a voice telling him, well, you cannot make it. Go and kill yourself. If you get to that stage, you are looking for something to take. Or if they are living upstairs, you will begin to measure the distance between the corridor and down. The devil is a very stupid person. He will tell you, ah, have you looked at the corridor? Look at the distance. If you jump from that place to that side, nothing will happen to you. Try it. He will even tell you to go back. Go back and run and fly, super fly. I'm telling you what normally happens to those who commit suicide. If they come back to the thought or think aloud, you know that the devil is a foolish man. If you give them something that is not real, but it will look real to them, jump, you, you, you cannot touch the ground. You fly, you be on top. Ah, they say this thing, kill people. Take it, do not kill you. Bringing different thoughts into their hearts. You heard it? Even the father said, ah, the way this boy is looking at me, if I call him, he will not answer you, he will look at me. I hope one day he will not carry me and throw me down. <laughs> but it's not like that. He's getting gradually into that state where it becomes a problem to the entire family. Uh -huh. So uh, it was that serious, like I said, that early this year, something, a, spirit, a voice just came and said, remember the time this young man was born? And uh, somebody came from home, and when the person collected, I mean, took him from the mother, it was like they poured hot water on him. He cried out seriously. And the voice said, that is where the problem started, and that I need to do something very drastic to address the spiritual problem. And another voice came, you are in Abuja. Wise man Daniel is in Abuja. What are you waiting for? Take this boy to wise man, Daniel. Take the boy to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So that was how I brought him here some months ago. And as God will have it, I never told anybody when we came, we were seated there. 
And after the message, the man of God woke up to him. I mean, sorry, at the, at the, when we came out for, for touching, we didn't tell anybody what happened to him. And man of God came to him and gave him a prophecy that this guy, there's an exam he could not pass. And something has been used to cover his brain. And when the man of God started praying for him and held his head, the same cry, the same shout, he shouted when he was a baby, was what I heard from him that day. He shouted the same thing out. Love for Jesus Christ. So, by implication, that attack came through a shout and also left through a shout because it met bigger and mightier power than the foolish man, Satan. That was when they enveloped the brain. That is it. Uh -huh. And uh, after the prayer, he said we should write the date of that day down that we will come back for testimony. And it was not long. I don't want to go into details of how the admission came. God just walked the admission out. The admission, he stayed at home three years without, came just like, uh, it came miraculously. Let me put it that This is what we mean by when God comes into your life, he would gather your broken pieces into wholeness. Three years of broken pieces have been gathered into success. That is it. Uh -huh. uh, that is why we are here to testify, to confirm the testimony, in the, I mean the, the prophecy in the first place, and testify to the goodness of God in the, in the life of my son and in the life of the entire family. Thank you. Because this thing was a very big blow. You can imagine your first son sitting at home for three years without admission when the mates were already graduating. It was that devastating to him and to all of us in the house. But today, we give glory to God who did it. And At the same time, I want to thank the man of God who made himself available for God to use. That day we came, he could have chosen not to pray for him, but he did. And today we are testifying. Man of God, thank you. Thank you and thank you. Jesus Christ, thank you, thank you, thank you for being our Savior. See it, eh? Jesus Christ, thank you, thank you, and thank you for being our Savior. Love for Jesus Christ, thank you. Yes, and uh, being a mother, you must have one or two stories to tell, though your husband has said it all. Elohim. Mighty God lives in us. Elohim. Mighty God lives in us. My name is Etri Victoria. I'm so excited to be here because giving this testimony is a great privilege for me. I don't know how to thank God enough for this wonderful opportunity and I will, I'm not taking it for granted. Four years ago, my son wrote Jam. He got an adequate score. But writing Pursuit EME, that is where the issue is. He will prepare so hard from home even we will enroll him for extra lessons. But he will go to the school and there's this blackout. He will tell me, Mommy, but it was towards the end of the paper that, the, you know, it's computer based. At the end of the day, they said some question you don't understand. You can swear, you can go over them. Later, when you remember, you come over them. But as I said, it was a few minutes to the um, timeout that he will start remembering. Mm. Before he will now go back to attempt them, there is no time. Mm. At the time, he told me, Mommy, the system had to shut down. I didn't, I didn't log out before the system shut down. I said, don't worry. Let's be hopeful when the results comes, whether God will make a way for us. At the end of the day, the result will not be measurable. And you know where the problem is? We, we don't know it's, it's an issue. We'll keep encouraging him that don't worry. If you did not make it this year, you'll make it next year. And it just keep going. The next year, he will write jam. The third, the third year, we now say, okay, let's leave this jam because your mates are now in 300 level. 
Somebody now advised that we should enroll him for JUPEB. JUPEB is like IGMB. If you pass, you go to 200 level. We now enrolled him at Uni Learning JUPEB. So he went. Even in the JUPEB, we had to enroll for an extra a lecturer to be taking him specially. And during class reading, there, there's this reading they do together. He is the one that will be lecturing others. And uh, during the exam, those other ones he's giving lecture will pass. And he, is, he, he will not get any adequate points. And he will come home. The worst thing is he will not talk to anybody. He's just depressed. He will stay indoor. He will not go out. Joshua, please take a walk. He'll say, no, if I step out, one or two persons will ask me, how is school? Where, which school are you now? You know, he's so, he will just stay indoor from morning till night. At times you meet him, he will just be crying, sobbing. I say, God, okay, just be, I'll just go stay with him, encourage him. Just prepare, write another jam. You will make it this time around until God step in for us. I give all the glory to God. And thank God, after the, uh, after the prophecy, I had a dream. Few days after the prophecy, I had a dream. I saw him in my village. He was sitting in one of my uncle's room. I know Ooh. Joshua. Mm -hmm. And in the Your son. He, yes. Mm. In the dream, the background is black and white. You know when you snap black and white picture. The background is black and white. I know there's no light, no nothing. I now say, Joshua, what are you doing here? He said, no, he's just sitting down here that they told him to sit down here. I said, what? You, you have to leave Abuja to come and stay in the village. He said, yes, they told him. I said, get up. We are going. I started packing his bags. I started packing his bag. And that is how we left home. Few days later, University Lawrence sent a message to the porter that he should come and write Pursuit TME. Love for Jesus Christ. God the God we serve is so powerful that he always show you that the, the deliverance is genuine. You saw it? Where they took him to, in the midst of dark, the same dark cloud that enveloped his brain. He found himself in the midst of that dark cloud. But God now used the mom image to pull him. All those things they packed were his glory. All his lost glory. Packed everything. When she finished packing everything, she woke up. May the Lord send a destiny helper. To so gather your broken pieces Amen. anywhere they are in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south pole, back to you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Uh -huh. So he did he, he, the, usual, the same exam that he used to have blackout. So he went. Why he left for uni We were back home. Just we we're just meditating on the prophecy that God. Since you said he's coming back to give testimony, we are coming to give testimony. We are coming to give testimony. That, and we are just thanking God in our prayers throughout. After the post me, he came home. The moment, the usual indoor staying and, and, you know, doing nothing and just looking. At times you'll be talking to him. He will not hear you. You have to go and tap him. Joshua, Joshua, before you not say, yes, mommy. He returned home and started doing some creative drawings. Here are some of the drawings he, he... Because the brain is alert. Yes. The brain is open to assimilate. So he's always doing creative drawing. Last night, before this morning, he said he is going to draw wise man Daniel. Jesus. And present it to him today. He, he, it was... We, they worked late. He worked late into the night to do this. Jesus, so Wait, 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 wait. Please, please, wait. 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 If it looks like me, raise your hand up. Please, let's vote. Because I'm looking at something. If you know this picture looks like me. You see the way I'm doing? <laughs> Please, don't do like this. Don't do like this. Just be bold enough. It looks like what? Eh? Okay. Uh, you're not seeing the screen? Jesus. Come here. Close the picture. Okay, the sign is blocking you. Okay, take it to that side. Okay, close the picture. Can you see it now? <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Okay. No, not only clapping. If you don't know, look like Wasmandai, let me see your hand up. Hey. <laughs> wow. Uh-uh. Let me give you a hug. I'm happy. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Give me my picture. It's not your own. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Please promise, promise the whole world that you keep it for me. And when I need it, you give it to me. <laughs> Thank you. Clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wow. Can you imagine? Somebody used to be isolated, keeping to himself, talking to himself. He went to write the exam, and while he was in the exam hall, the prince were praying, God, let it happen. This is what I meant by it is not all up to God. Certainly, it is not all up to you. It takes your willingness and God's ability to make it happen. The prophecy has happened, has taken place. Your part is to back that prophecy with faith. You are praying, Lord, our son is there. God said to us, Daniel, our son will come back for a testimony. Make it happen. Make it happen. It's not that your son is there. God has done it. Why am I saying it will happen? I'm telling you, my son is coming with first class. He's coming with first class. I know it's going to happen. And you now go to your business. You don't even pray. You don't know that. It's that, that man, that man called Wasmandana cannot do it all alone. He needs your faith. You back up. Pray, 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 pray. And when you're doing that, God will know that. You are not joking with that me- message. It will catch fire. This is, what happened. this is what happened to this family now. Can you see this? You see? Congratulations. Clap for Jesus Christ. Is that all? You know, at times, I, I have an advice for uh, families. You know, all the, these are youths of these days. We need to support them mm. with prayer. And mm. encouragement, not prayer and encouragement alone. You know, we we're saying uh, it's just hold on since we did not pass this year, next year, or you know, encouraging, but there is a spiritual aspect mm. attached to it. Mm. Because there's something I want to say here today. You know, when this testimony came, that was when we now knew it. There is a big, there is a great challenge behind this uh, problem. Each time we want to come and give testimony, is it that we are on our way coming, the vehicle will just break down. And you know, where the vehicle will break down is not where we can just leave the vehicle. We will not be repairing vehicle. I say, what is this? At times, you know, you don't, different, when you return home, different problems, series of attack. Now say, God, it has, it can only be you. If not for you, that can break protocol, who are we? I just give all the glory to God. Glory for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Satan, Satan does not give up. He will lose battle in one side. He want to fight the other way. He doesn't give up. You also should not give up in attacking him back through prayer and fasting. Because that area of blackout is destroyed. He wants to use the area of breaking the vehicle down to also stop them from testifying. And now the testimony is done. It is seed and stamped. Amen. It is breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough. That is it. Because once you testify, you are telling God you need more. Satan knows that he has lost the battle in the other area. He wants to use the testimony to also stop them. Some family, you will be surprised. They will just say, oh, don't, don't bother. Let, let's not go. God has done it. This is very good to break down. means you don't need to go to that place for testimony. You don't need to go to that place for testimony. But you came there for solution. <laughs> Can you see? So that's why you have to shun Satan, pursue your destiny, and catch up with the spirit. Thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. This song today is our song. Wow. See how far you brought us. I'm so glad you found the world. I can see. I can tell, and I know it's your grace. All my days, I will sing your praise. Thank you. Thank you. Um, praise God. Uh, it is not. Uh, it's not going to be complete if I don't talk to parents here. If I don't talk to our brothers and sisters here. Thank you. Um, God is God any day, any time. 
And when you submit to God, he will come out strong and address your issues. Mm. You see, uh, when this problem was, I mean, really, really on our neck, we got totally disturbed and confused. But from the very day God spoke that, look, go to my servant, and you, this young man will receive blessings. We became very strong. And we came here. God did it. What I want to tell you is this. If you have an issue, don't take it anywhere. Bring it before God. Love for Jesus Christ. <laughs> don't begin to seek for alternatives outside the church. It pays you nothing than destruction. You started with God. Little did misunderstand you. You run out of God. Ah. It is better not to know light than to know light and go back to darkness. The consequences will be very brutal. That's what our father is saying. That day, man of God gave the first prophecy. I wept inside of me because this is an issue we didn't tell him. But God, who is infinite, who is most powerful, I mean, opened the case to him. And he prayed over it. And today we are here to rejoice over it. I know if you have similar issues, if you have similar problems, if you submit it to God, you will come here and rejoice and rejoice over it. Thank you. Love for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Very you want to say something? Okay. Um, one of the few things I recovered after this deliverance, the deliverance that took place the other day, I, I brought my sense of creativity came back. Mm -hmm. I, there's this thing. It goes through the family. My dad was an artist. My mom, she was my fine arts teacher back in my primary school days. Wow. And the, the day I drew those pictures for you, I when I drew them, I had it, I had your your picture in mind, your very image in mind. But if you look closely, it looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> but if you if you keep it, if you give it this little distance, it looks like a uh, man of God, Senior T Prophet T B Joshua. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much. Wow, my greatest joy is that God has used me to add to his kingdom business. That is my greatest joy. Yes. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, I want to see you after the service. Thank you. Love for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Like a bridge in troubled waters, he was there.